This is All India Radio Kohima. I am Kahir Chisite with the evening news. The headlines. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu says COVID vaccination camping should become a people's movement. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches multiple key initiatives in education sector during inaugural conclave of Shikshak Parf. Drug controller General of India issues emergency use authorization for generic version of Tusilizumab in India for treatment of COVID-19 in hospitalized adults. Center asks Kerala government to strengthen hospital community-based surveillance to contain outbreak of Nipah virus. As the nationwide free COVID-19 vaccination campaign at government facilities with those above 18 years is going on, we advise our young listeners to get vaccinated and also to help others to get vaccinated. We also advise our listeners not to lower their guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-239-78046 and 1075 and state helpline number 1800-345-0019. And now the news. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu said COVID vaccination camping should become a people's movement, launching a free vaccination program organized by Swarna Bharat Trust in Hyderabad in collaboration with Bharat Biotech International Limited and Medicity Hospitals, Naidu said there was no alternative to taking the vaccine and appealed to every eligible person to take the required doses without any fear or hesitation, mentioning that more than 71 crore doses were administered in the country till 6th of September. He expressed happiness that more than 50% of eligible people were vaccinated with at least a single dose. Naidu stressed on the importance of COVID-appropriate behaviour even after vaccination to effectively fight the pandemic and called on all citizens to take personal responsibility in maintaining personal hygiene, wearing masks and maintaining a safe distance in public. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched multiple key initiatives in the education sector during the inaugural conclave of Shikshak Parf. Modi said the new initiatives launched under the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav will bring in an educational revolution and place Indian education system on the global map. Praising the contribution of academicians, experts, teachers at every level for the formulation of National Education Policy, NEP, Prime Minister said, we are in the midst of a transformation period and we are fortunate to have a modern and futuristic new NEP to deal with the transformation. Modi further stated that in this rapidly changing era, our teachers have to learn new systems and techniques rapidly and that the country is preparing the teachers for these changes through Nishta training program. District level workshop on sustainable development goals SDG held at Twensang. The workshop was attended by Deputy Commissioner Twensang Kumar Ramnikant and concerned heads of departments of the district. Ramnikant highlighted the importance of SDG and called on all the departments to come together to achieve the SDGs. Abilo Hamsoy, SDG Officer, SDG Coordination Centre, Planning and Coordination Department presented on the national, state and district level institutional mechanism and strategy for SDG implementation. Hamsoy also highlighted the SDG indicator which requires improvement in Twensang district. Fit Freedom Run 2.0 held at Noklak Town today as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Deputy Commissioner Noklak Haizu Meru, while flagging off the program, called on the youths to make Noklak the cleanest town in the state and make positive impact in the society. During the program, the participants carried out 
cleanliness drive in and around Nokluck town. Team Clean Nokluck was also formed, comprising of volunteers from all 11 sectors of Nokluck to carry out further cleanliness drives. This news comes to you from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on your YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The Drug Controller General of India has issued emergency use authorization for the generic version of Tusilizumab in India for the treatment of COVID-19 in hospitalized adults. This is aimed at treating individuals who are receiving systematic corticosteroids and require supplemental oxygen, non-invasive or invasive mechanical ventilation or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Dr. B. Parthasaradi Reddy, Chairman Hetero Group said, it demonstrates their technical capabilities and commitment to bring important therapeutic relevant to COVID care. They will be working closely with the government to ensure equitable distribution. Centre has asked Kerala government to strengthen hospital community-based surveillance to contain outbreak of Nipah virus. Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan has written to Kerala Chief Secretary recommending measures to be taken in the wake of the outbreak of Nipah virus in Kojikode. He said awareness needs to be created for early detection of cases of acute encephalitis syndrome or respiratory distress and risk communicated to the public. Bushan directed the district authorities to identify primary and secondary contacts and prepared contact tracing of high-risk and low-risk contacts. Kerala Health Minister Veena said test results of 10 persons suspected of Nipah virus infections were found to be negative. This includes the samples of the parents of the deceased boy who died due to the Nipah virus infection on Sunday. Veena said contact tracing is in full swing and house-to-house -house surveillance in the region has been launched. District Planning and Development Board DPDB Twensang meeting was held today under the chairmanship of Deputy Commissioner and Vice Chairman DPDB Twensang. During the meeting, upgradation of Government Middle School Twensang Village to High School was discussed and Education Department Twensang has been entrusted for verification and detailed reports to be submitted to the government. The House also deliberated on various subjects such as Constitution of Sustainable Development Goals Committee for Twensang District, construction of guest house come village museum at Twensang Village, and construction of district park at Noxon. Twensang Town Council's proposal for construction of treatment plant come dumping ground was also highlighted and the House has decided to pursue for approval at the earliest. Central Government inaugurated five food processing projects in Assam, Gujarat and Karnataka. Speaking on the occasion, Union Minister for Food Processing Industry Pashupati Kumar Paras said, these projects will provide benefit to over 7,600 farmers. Paras said, the Ministry is committed to reduce wastage of food crops and provide employment opportunities to farmers, women and young people. Nagaland today reported 47 fresh cases of COVID-19. Of the cases reported, 23 were detected in Dimapu, 16 in Kohima, 4 in Peg, 3 from Waka and 1 from Longland. State also recorded 50 recoveries, out of which 18 were from Dimapur, 14 from Kohima, 8 from Mokokchin, 6 in Peg, 2 from Zinhebutu and 1 each from Kifiri and Waka. The total COVID case load in the state has reached 30,435, while the overall recovered cases stand at 28,138. State also reported one death today, taking the toll to 618. Currently, there are 709 active cases in the state. To end the news, here are the headlines again. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu says, COVID vaccination camping should become a people's movement. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches multiple key initiatives in education sector during inaugural conclave of Shikshak Parv. 
Drug Controller General of India issues emergency use authorization for generic version of tocilizumab in India for treatment of COVID-19 in hospitalized adults. Center asks Kerala government to strengthen hospital community-based surveillance to contain outbreak of Nipah virus. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.